Hi everybody, welcome back to Pepper Forward. My name is Brian Huff, and today uh, we got a really interesting treat in store. This comes to us from uh, Capsaicin Cult, and the Capsaicin Cult is uh, Kristen and Kyle, and they are a couple of pod people. Uh, if you're not familiar with the pod people, it's a really fun group of, of guys and gals that really love eating hot peppers and getting together and discussing hot sauces and all that kind of stuff and doing challenges. And Kristen recently made a very interesting little thing that you're going to see down here in the bottom of the screen right down here. So, this looks innocent enough. It's rock candy, but harbored inside this rock candy is, it's a ghost pepper. It's a ghost pepper in rock candy. That's just all it is. It's a rock candy ghost pepper, and I'm absolutely terrified of it. Um, so trick or treat, I think it's uh, a little bit of both. Um, <laughs> so we're going to, I'm curious. Okay. I was wondering if I could smell the pepper or anything through the, through the sugar, but I can't. So cheers. Let's see what we got. <laughs> it's really hard. Hmm. Wow. That's actually really good. That works. I mean, who doesn't love sugar, right? But it's actually the heat from the ghost peppers coming through and the flavor. And I'm not a big fan, usually, of ghost pepper pods. Flavor-wise, this works. It's warm. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. Okay. There's a lot of sugar. I'm not usually a big candy person. It's just Halloween. So. Woo. Okay. With flavor of the ghost pepper working really well with the sugar. I'm sorry, it is all in my throat. It is so hot. Um, I am very shocked at how good this is. Um, I was really looking for this to be more of a challenge. Um, Heat-wise, it's kind of challenging. I mean, it's hot. It is a ghost pepper. It's climbing. Uh, on the flavor side, though, this is really good. I'm blown away. I'm very curious, though, to what it would be like. This ghost pepper appears to have been raw, just like a normal pepper. It, I don't think it was dried out. So it still has sort of i I'm going to see if I can get this under the camera here where you guys can actually see it. I don't, you can't really tell. It's still got some, like, pepper consistency to it. It's actually not dry it out so it's uh kind of moist and oh i hate that word what's a better word it's it's not dry how about that it's not dry <laughs> um oh god okay <laughs> i'm sorry that was messy um but that's really good i'm surprised so, um, capsaicin cult. <laughs> oh, man. It hits you right in the throat. I mean, it's not even the mouth burn as much as it's just right here. Um, that's incredible. Um, got my eyes going a little bit. So, heat rating. I'd definitely give this thing about a six. Yeah. It's got my eyes going just a little bit. Um... Flavor-wise, man, it's a 10. I mean, I would eat these. Um, I, like I said, I'm not a huge candy person, but it's Halloween. And you got to get your candy on for Halloween. Um, so that's what we're doing here today. So uh, flavor-wise, it's a 10, man. That's good stuff. I'm, I'm very shocked. I honestly came into this thinking I wasn't going to care for it that much. 
um, because uh, the ghost peppers, but um, that ghost pepper is phenomenal. That was a great tasting. Um, I'm really curious though, what it would be like if the ghost pepper was actually dried before it was used. Um, cause I've had those, uh, lollipops and things have like scorpions and things. You always notice all little items and things they have that are encased in sugar are dehydrated before they're actually put in there. So I wonder what effect that would have. But at the same time, it had a very nice consistency once you got through the hardness of the rock candy. So I'm sure, honestly, um, it's not really designed, I think, to be eaten the way I just ate it. <laughs> but um, good stuff, man. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell for notifications. And I will see you guys on the next one.